A main character who doesn't speak can be a hurdle for some games. If the main character doesn't speak, it means the player cannot get into the game unless the characters around him or her explain the world and the progression of the story. It's easier to explain the story if the main character can speak and act actively. I've been thinking this for almost four years now, but seeing this comment by A.G. Ishida, one of the directors of Soul Hackers 2, when asked why that game had a speaking protagonist prompted me to finally say this aloud. I know this is a hot take in some circles, but it's this. Silent protagonists are almost always terrible. Silent protagonists are useful when they're truly blank slates. Not blank slates the way people claim leads like Link and Joker are, but when they have no defined characteristics. MMOs, as well as open world RPGs like The Elder Scrolls, are a great example of this, as what their protagonists do is entirely up to the player. The Dragonborn can complete the main story, or they can become a thief or a master mage. They can side with any faction, buy a house anywhere, marry whoever they choose, if you have the DLC for it. And in all of these cases, you truly are the protagonist, so defining them purely by dialogue choices is a valid option. On the other hand, you have protagonists like the Persona leads. I'll use Joker as an example, since if social media is any indication, he's the only one people know about, even though no one even knows what a Persona 5 is. Joker is silent, but he has a fully fleshed out personality and backstory. He starts the story framed for assault for crying out loud. If he was truly a blank slate, you should have been able to keep walking when he comes across a woman being accosted in the street. But no, he explicitly thinks to himself that he can't let this go. A true blank slate also wouldn't get visibly angry when Arn breaks down during the first act, or keep Ryuji in check when his anger gets the best of him. I won't spoil the story of course, but Joker goes through so much hardship over the course of Persona 5, and he's a willing participant in all of it, putting himself in danger for the greater good. In Skyrim you'd be able to refuse all of that. To me, the ideal protagonist is someone like Gerald from The Witcher. Part of this is because The Witcher games are based on novels, but it doesn't change how he's portrayed in the game. Like in Skyrim, Gerald can also choose used to resolve side quests in different ways by siding with different factions in a feud or helping one side of a war beat the other, but his core personality remains intact. There are some things he will never do, and there are some people, such as his adoptive daughter Siri, he will do anything for. In other words, Geralt is 90% defined as a person, but you can add flavour to him befitting your own tastes and opinions on the world around him, and he will even comment on your choices as if they were his own. That didn't need to happen, but I'm glad it did, since it helped establish him as a living part of the world and, again, as its own person. Hopefully that didn't require too much crunch on the developer's part to implement. Shepard from the Mass Effect trilogy is an even more interesting comparison. While Mass Effect has more variants in its main narrative, and Shepard can be either a paragon or renegade, they're still voiced and still feel like a real person, which is helped by the fact that they have a fixed surname everyone refers to them by. It's like a best of both worlds approach, merging the openness of Skyrim with the storytelling of The Witcher, compared to the worst of both worlds that Destiny 1 gave us with a near-mute protagonist who only spoke to drop obnoxious one line but that's hardly the worst of Destiny's problems. To get back on topic, I think Witches Geralt should be the bare minimum for non-MMO and open world RPGs going forward. To use Persona 5 as an example again, Joker is such an interesting concept for a lead, but he's squandered by remaining mute. This is best exemplified in moments where he's alone, and we can see what he actually thinks about things. Royal is the best example of this, though I won't show footage of it for spoiler reasons. When you go to Kichijoji, you are normally with Morgana who will comment on the different shops and stores. For example, if you inspect the bank, he will ask why you're wasting time when you don't have an account with them, but at one point in the story you get to go there on your own, and this time Joker thinks about all of these things himself. He doesn't want a bank account, he is happy with his current phone, he wants to try this food store when it's less crowded. The information is still the same, but the difference is night and day. So I say this, let Joker be Ren Amamiya, let him talk and interact with others on his own terms. As with Geralt, this means you can still complete confidants and side quests however you want, romance whoever you want, and more, even trigger secret endings, or whatever other secrets may be hidden in your game of choice, but all of this would be done with much more weight added to the story that is lost when everyone else speaks around or for the lead instead of to them. I admit there's another reason I'm using Persona 5 as my main example here, and that's Persona 4. Yu Norikami was silent in Persona 4, but spoke in all of the spin-offs, which all of a sudden made him much more engaging and likeable. He also has a fleshed out personality in the anime, with his own character arc and some of the best lines. I'm the king. Number two. Number two. My lap is yours.
Yeah, number two is me. There's a reason Persona fans all meme him as the ultimate Chad, regardless of whether or not Persona 4 is even their favourite in the series. Makoto Yuki from Persona 3 also had an interesting arc in the Persona 3 movies, to the point of changing key parts of the original Persona 3's narrative, but it made both him and the story much more compelling as a result. And how did Atlas react to these things? By saying they wanted to backpedal. Joker remained mute in Persona 5 sequel and became a soulless husk in the anime. He has a grand total of maybe two funny moments in the anime's 26 episodes, but compared to how interesting you and Makoto were, yeah, he didn't come anywhere close to interesting. In fact, for all of the many, many, many things the anime got wrong, when it was allowed to tell an original story, it did write a compelling arc for Ren in the Proof of Justice OVA, and I genuinely enjoyed it, but that just made me ask, why couldn't Ren always be like this? So that's the end of a rant four years in the making, with Persona 5 Strikers being a particularly rough road bump along the way of my procrastination. While I'm excited to see the rare specimen of a female protagonist in JRPG 2, this is the main reason I'm eager to sink into Soul Hackers 2, and I hope Atlas applies this mindset to their other titles. But while this video has centered on them, this applies to all silent protagonists. For instance, Link finally has a defined name in Breath of the Wild, and the Japanese version of the quest log is even written from his perspective. And as much as I like that iteration of Zelda, I know her and all of the other characters would be much more engaging to watch, and their development would be much more compelling if they could talk with Link instead of at him. Nintendo is infamously stubborn with these things, but I hope other titles follow the likes of Geralt and Ringo while we wait for them to catch up, at the very least. Thank you for making it to the end of this hot take. That's right, all three of you who didn't immediately jump to the comments to tell me how wrong I was, or how dare I criticise Nintendo, I see you and I thank you. I hope you liked this video, and please let me know what you think in the comments below. As someone who's been mulling over this topic for literal years, I'd love to hear what everyone else has to say about it, and I'd love to do more think pieces like this as well, so please subscribe if you want to hear more of those too. Thank you all again, and as always, have a great day.